Welcome to Holy Saturday. Jesus yesterday was crucified. His body was taken down from the cross, according to St. Matthew, by Joseph of Arimathea, and he was laid in the tomb. And so today we find ourselves in that in-between time, in between the ghastly and horrendous events of Good Friday and the hope that lies on Easter morn. But today, we very much stay with Jesus in the tomb, in this in-between time. Let us pray. O God, creator of heaven and earth, grant that as the crucified body of your dear son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so may we await with him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is a selection from Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness, save me. This is a reading from the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 27, beginning at verse 57. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus, he went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which had been hewn from the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember what that imposter said while he was still alive. After three days I will rise again. Therefore, command the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may go and steal him away and tell the people he has been raised from the dead, and the last deception would be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers. Go, make it as secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by stealing the stone the gospel of the Lord. I want to offer a short reflection on this day and this gospel text, a reflection that's based on an ancient homily that one of the early church fathers, John of St. Chrysostom wrote. And this is an adaptation of his words and it goes like this. It's a prayer of sorts. Lord Jesus, today all is silent. You have given your precious life for the salvation of the world. You died a horrific death, poured out all mercy from your wounded heart, and now you rest in peace in the tomb as the soldiers keep vigil. Lord, may I also keep vigil with you as you sleep. 
I know that this day ends with your glorious triumph, your victory over sin and death. But for now, I sit quietly mourning your death. Help me, dear Lord, to enter into the sorrow and the silence of this holy Saturday. Today, no sacraments are celebrated. Today, the world waits in mourning, in anticipation of the glory of new life. As I keep vigil, awaiting the celebration of your resurrection, fill me with hope. Help me to look forward to the celebration of your resurrection, but also to look forward to the hope of my own share in the new life you have won for the world. I entrust my whole being to you, dear Lord, as you lay lifeless and still. May your rest transform the brokenness of my own soul and of this hurting world. Lord Jesus, remember me, remember us, remember this whole fallen world when you come in to your kingdom. Amen. And God bless you on this holy Saturday.